It is currently 1.55 a.m. Still working on some game notes for softball tomorrow. I'm working Saturday and Sunday for play-by-play. -play. And uh, yeah, got a lot of work to do, but let's get into it more. <laughs> Tally it up later, you know. We're here from Limited Sports today asking the most important questions that can be asked at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Who is more valid, Scott Frost or Fred Hoiberg? Two underperforming head coaches, and we're just going to get the students' takes on who is more valid. Can I ask you all a question? Yeah. All right. Which coach is more valid, Scott Frost or Fred Hoiberg? I got to say Scott Frost. I don't know who the other one is. He's our men's basketball coach. Oh, okay. Coach. Scott Frost. Okay. Frost. More votes for Scott Frost. This, this is an unbelievable. This is a landslide. Thank you all. Who would have thought? We got a lot of Scott Frost supporters out here, even though he's like averaging three wins a season. It is Saturday afternoon here at Bullen Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. Here today for some NCAA softball on KRNU. I am Jacob Schrantz, and here today with me on the call is Camden Cohn. And Camden, on a perfect day for some softball, you can't ask for much more of a better environment for baller. As here's the pitch from Kinney. That one swing and a miss from Evans. 37 hits. Swing and a miss again for Chloe Evans. So two straight swinging strikes. Evans, 21 strikeouts on the year, and a third swinging strike. Three punch outs in the first inning for Kaylin Kinney. She gets on base just under 40% of the time, so a pretty solid start here to Big Ten play from Straylos. That ball is hit hard to the shortstop. Andrews, can she make the throw to first in time? Yes, she does. Maya Felder with the catch at first, unable to run it out as Sydney Straylo, and Billy Andrews shows off that cannon of an arm from the shortstop position. Can I ask you a question? What? Who's more valid, Scott Frost or Fred Hoiberg? Who's more valid? Yeah. Scott Frost. All right, thank you. Y'all well, got time for a quick question on some Nebraska sports? Sure. All right, so the question of the day is which Nebraska head coach is more valid? Is it Scott Frost or is it Fred Hoiberg? Uh, whichever one's not Scott Frost. Fred Hoiberg, uh, basketball? All right, one for, one for Fred Hoiberg. How about you? Scott, probably. Scott Frost, okay, so a split decision here at the table. Thank you. Just wrapped up game one of the weekend at Bowling Stadium, and now heading back to drop off the equipment. We'll be back tomorrow at 12 p.m., or more like 10 a.m. for game two of the weekend. All right, we just turned our stuff back in here today at Anderson Hall, and now I am about to go home, fix up the stats, and update them so that tomorrow's game, everything is up to date, and we're all ready for the final game of the Nebraska versus Minnesota series. It's game day. It's game day at Lincoln. Chai, what do you think we're gonna see in this game today? Hopefully we get a little bit of a snow game. We got some flurries going on That's on this true. Easter Sunday. Stay tuned, I guess. Stay tuned. We're here bright and early. You know what we do. Only ones here. It is officially snowing here at Boland Stadium. And we will see how the grounds crew handles it. Uh, Husker Sports question. All right, so I see y'all got a football with you, you know. And the question of the day is which Nebraska head coach is more valid? Is it Scott Frost or is it Fred Hoiber? Fred Hoiber. Okay, okay, okay. Rare answer. Scott Frost has been getting a lot of answers today. How about you, man? I'm not a Scott Frost guy. Yeah. So Hoiberg? Yeah. All right, two for Hoiberg here. I'll go the same. Same. Three for Hoiberg. Wow, big run. I'll shout out Scott Frost. Okay. Frost gets one. Three, one. Three, one. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. We are here now at Bowling Stadium for game number two of the weekend. Easter softball for you here today at Bowling Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. The Cornhuskers will face off in the final game of this three-game series versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers. 
coming into the top of the second inning. Huskers down one to nothing. Kinch has an OPS of 808 on the season. Pretty good batter here for the Gophers. Yeah, she's definitely got some power for Minnesota here this year. That ball hit deep into left field and left center, and it is gone out of here, out of the park. So right on time, right on time from that, Sarah Kinch just sends a ball soaring into the next parking lot. So oh, we're here asking the question of the day, which Nebraska head coach is more valid? Is it football head coach Scott Frost, or is it basketball head coach Fred Hoiberg? You know, if it's not John Cook, I want him gone. Okay. Neither of them living up to expectations. I came to this university expecting All-American sports level, you know. This was a dream. When I grew up, I remember I thought I'd be running on the field like Tommy Armstrong, like Taylor Martinez. I'm in the booth, you know. I'm so close to the action, but I'm watching a terrible football team, and a terrible basketball team go out and compete every single game day, and I'm tired of it. I'm disappointed. I'm flabbergasted. I'm befuzzled, and we need change, and we need change now. So, uh, fire Frost, fire Hoiberg. I, I say maybe... Maybe have Cook coach all teams, you know. Maybe have John. He can clearly coach, and I don't think Scott Frost could manage a, a group of kindergartners. So, okay, one of the best answers of the day so far. If you are just joining us, I feel for you as you just missed a McKenna Dowell unreal defensive play to flip a ball over to second base and get the last out of the second inning back here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And if you're just joining us, you just missed a monstrous offensive output from the Gophers in the top of the third inning as Emily Hansen had the bases juiced and she sent a ball long for her first home run of the year and that was a grand slam to give the Gophers an 8-1 lead. Caitlin Neal, if she can go opposite field here, this ball game would become very interesting. As Neal now with one strike remaining, she hit a grand slam earlier this week. Can she do it again? Hit and down in left field, scoring is Felder. Throw to the plate, not in time as Abby Squire scores and the throw to second, not in time for Bredwell as well. So Caitlin Neal with a two RBI single. And she continues to rack in these RBIs as Caitlin Neal now with 24 RBIs on the season. And now we're down to a five run game for the Oscars, much more manageable. Yeah, and now Ava Bredwell at second, and Caitlin Neal at first for Peyton Gladder, who went three for three yesterday. Gladder, that ball hit short into left field again. Diving effort, and the ball is dropped by Jensen. And a score for the Huskers again from second base is Ava Bredwell. How about you, man? What do you think All on the right. question? I got two words for you. Daddy Frost. He's going to change his program around. Like I said before, I'll say it again. We're going to the Rose Bowl, baby. Let's go. Famous quote there, we are going to the Rose Bowl, baby. You heard it here first. We'll see if that happens. Thank you. Drive, we're about to enter the top of the seventh here. Huskers up 11 to eight after an insane offensive day from both teams. This has been a very fun game to call. Most definitely, most definitely. We'll see how it ends up. After a surprising turn of events here, late in this game, the Huskers now lead the Minnesota Golden Gophers 11 to 8 in the top of the seventh inning. Welcome back to some NCAA softball on KRNU. I am Jake Schrantz along with my broadcast partner, Chuck Yeager. It's been absolutely insane. Nebraska down 8 1 after three innings have come running back to lead it 11 8. Nonetheless, barrel sets for maybe the final strike of the game. That is a swinging strike three and unbelievable! The Huskers make an 8 1 comeback. Absolutely incredible from the Huskers. Never losing their calm or their cool. They come back and roar to score 10 straight runs after being down by seven. As the Huskers stay undefeated in Big Ten play and extend the win streak to 18. All right, Trifer, so we are here post game. And what a game it was. What do you think of it? Well,. It was certainly fun to call uh, the biggest comeback in softball team history for the Huskers coming down from seven runs. And that grand slam was pretty electric to tie the game. Levitt's first one. And Gladder swings and lifts a high fly ball. Left center and deep. It's gone and we're tied. Grand slam, Gladder. So 
Yeah. It was overall pretty good. Yeah, that was an amazing day. And thank you all for watching. Uh, we should have another video coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. It should have snowed more. Definitely should have. Yeah. See ya. Bucks and six. Catch your question really quick. Who is more valid? Scott Frost or, or Fred Hoiberg? Man, I don't got no answer. Oh. <laughs>